All right, folks, the deck is Spell Mage. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of spells in the early game, working our way towards the Galactic Projection Orb so that we can replay them and hopefully make our opponent's hero explode. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! All right, against Shaman, I'm not really, I, I imagine it maybe includes Shutter Block. But I guess we'll find out. There's no turning back now. I like an on-curve cosmic keyboard in to spot the difference. We'll see if we can make that happen without dying. Okay, it's not a whizbang deck, so it's not like the triple quest nonsense. Don't really have much for turn three. So we're likely just going to ping. Running into you. Let's do this, make sure we get the uh, finale cast. I'll take another elemental inspiration. And we can go Cosmic Keyboard next turn into Spot the Difference for a whole lot of stats. Okay, it's Evolve Shaman. There's probably still a Shutter Block in there, right? Because they want to, like, double, triple up the... Uh... Jeez, triple. They want to triple up the uh, the evolve effects. I think that is worth the soul freeze. We'll just hold here. There should be draws that we hit for turn five that uh, help us out a bit. If not, we can maybe search for something with the infinitize. Uh oh. Ball Buster. Double, double, oh, okay. Boys in trouble. That's a little spooky. We did hit a Yogg in the box, though. Uh, let's go with the High Noon Duelist. It's good stats. So is the Static Waveform. Just make numbers onto the board. Pretty good. Yeah, that's not likely to win for me, is it? Jeez. <laughs> uh, I guess it is good to know that they have that coming up. I think I'm just going to need to get lucky off of this Yogg box. It's a pretty good 5-mana spell that I was lacking. It also starts working towards the Elemental Inspiration. Makes more numbers onto the board. I'm into it. Next turn, we can just use the Manufacturing Air to uh, make a 6-6 six, six, as well as draw some cards, some of which may be playable. I don't know. Hopefully something is playable so I can kill that. That's playable, but not in the way that I was hoping. Counterspell. Let's freeze. Just go face. Next turn we can freeze again to set up for the Yog in a box. We can go like freeze and the world's saddest elemental inspiration. But we also have the wisdom that we can lead with to maybe get some more spell schools going. Because I assume they play the... Oh, I'd be wrong. I figured they were going with the Golgoneth there. Five damage. Unlikely to hit lethal, but uh, let's actually just set a counter spell here. Yogg in a box will get us lethal every time. It also makes them kind of think before just ripping the Golgoneth. Surely. Ooh. 
Okay. I don't mind that. I wonder if that counts as the, a, like, a spell cast. Probably not. The first spell each turn. I guess so. Let's see what's in here. Lethal is in here. Or not. Okay. This will get us lethal for sure. Or this will. Or just like this will. I don't know. Something will get us lethal next turn. I believe in it. Can this cast itself? Cast five random spells. I imagine not. That would probably not be a thing that they want to have available in Hearthstone, but... I mean, it would be funny. Okay, I guess we'll just take the lethal here. Boring. I don't think we want to keep the Yagana box. I think we want to draw into it with the manufacturing air. That would be pretty cool. Well, the same was true of the Sunset Volley and the Elemental Inspiration, but uh, we did a whoopsie. At least we have the Infinitize. Doesn't really tell us much about what they're doing. Well, there's a Yog box. Just kind of good on curve, right? Gives me uh, six mana worth of stats for three mana. In a matchup where stats on board seem like they'd be pretty good. But I imagine with a body bagger, it's probably rainbow, and they're using that to generate corpses that they can later spend to um, make the CNE nice and juicy. All right, give me something with four attack and rush. No? Does that card even exist? Mm. These two are essentially the same. They're going to get at least one card off of this, it seems, but still pretty strong onto the board. And I can catch back up in card advantage with the Manufacturing Air at some point. Let's just ping and get some Infinitized value. Frostbolt looking kind of good here. This gives me a little bit more flexibility, but at the cost of additional mana. I do have a star power queued up for next turn, and then we can kind of find what we need behind that. Hmm. We don't need the star power here. Nice. Let's get the frost spell in the pool so that we don't waste time on another frost spell. I kind of like the spellstone here. And we're probably just pinging. Holy. I'm not likely to have enough corpses to make this worth. I don't need arcane, so I think we just take the light bomb and then ping and go face. Force them to uh, hero power into that. Because he refuses to die. I don't even know if he can die. Chosen randomly? It seems like he could. Not a strong turn from the opponent. The problem with that, though, is that, like... Okay. I wasn't going to have a play myself to uh, do much with. 3-3 uh, three, three is the biggest. 3-3 three, three is the biggest. I've already... No, I haven't played an arcane spell yet. Let's just grab that. Fortunately, this is... A very sad elemental inspiration, and not likely to change anytime soon. Okay, 
Okay, get some face damage. We've got the potential for a Yogg in the box next turn. I don't know what the high cost spells are, but we could sure find out. Yellow. I'll mix you up. You will not come closer. Uh oh. <laughs> uh my hand is full. I've made a huge mistake. Oh, we burned the ten mana spell too. Oh no. Yogg, you've betrayed me. I guess that's what I get for not playing them previously, so maybe it's my own fault. I think we're just also, like, turbo dead now. <laughs> uh, huh. Ogre. Wait, they're trading? because I'm about to die. Just force the hero power into it. And this does soften it up enough for the light bomb, at least. I could also ping face to upgrade this. If I really wanted to. Really glad I took this light bomb. Owie. Get a fire spell in here. We can draw two. Oh, good. Uh. Two cards back if I play this, right? It replaces itself twice. So I think we just go like this. Could use an ice barrier. Because I know that this is about to do a whole bunch of damage to me. <laughs> the room Am I crazy or is that just kind of fine? Especially that. Like, I would have been more concerned about the... Uh, of the bitter. Uh, like the unholy option. It does mean that I probably can't play the Sunset Bali, but... Alright, Yogg. Don't let me down here. Again. That is. Oh, no. Well. I'm... I have no choice but to sue Yogg from here. That was devastatingly bad. At least we lived at one. That's not helpful. Blizzard, please. Remember. 
Dance of Life. Okay, that's um, like it's probably not good here, but it's something. Job's done. Should survive here because of a combination of the ice barrier and the stegodon. I really didn't notice how many corpses they had spent throughout the course of that game, but apparently it was a lot. Warlock is maybe like a wheel of death thing. There's no turning back now. Really kind of feels like Spot the Difference is just phenomenal on curve, so I'm gonna hang on to that, as well as use the discovery to discover. Novel. The pleasure is my pleasure running into you. Let's get a nature spell. The frostbolt was good, but we'll be able to find a frostbolt on our own. Chase. It seems pretty good with uh, some of the arcane spells that we have at a variety of different um, costs. And then on top of that, like, it's free, so we can just wait until we're ready to uh, to cast one of them. Let's hit a ping here, play this next turn. So let's check our arcane spells. Star power is obviously a big one. Another primoglyph, the um, galactic projection orb. That would be a fun one. Go here. Here. I assume something like a mountain giant is coming down here. It does look like I'm wrong, and it does look like star power is the most likely hit for me. Let's just play another one of these, though. Okay. Wait, no, I didn't want that to happen. I don't want minions in my deck for the uh, manufacturing there. Oh, I forgot about the wisdom as well. Counterspell. I don't like the spot very much, but we do have a Yogg in the box. What could go wrong? Feels like we're having a hard time casting different spell schools as well. Like, look at how expensive this is, as well as how little this does right now. And let's check the glyph. Nice. Oof. Are we sure that's a six drop? Because it looks an awful lot like a three drop to me. Probably should have read that card before I did that. Good, good. 
that'll solve everything. Maybe with the lower cost spells, we'll be less likely to die. Who knows? Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many of them. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Was that something? We do seem to technically be alive still. No, I don't think so. Okay, this is the one that saves us, right? No, this is the one that's been here all along. Well, there's one in here too, right? Unfortunate. YOLO? Not the best order. Okay, good hit. Okay. Should have made board space, apparently. Maybe not. That seemed pretty good, especially compared to the last one. This goes here. This goes here. Deal 16. Let's go ahead and... Okay. That seemed a lot better than previous uh, <laughs> Yogg in a box. I'll take that. No hellfire, please. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Yogg has redeemed himself. Druid? Got a bunch of spell damagey things, right? There's no turning back now. Alright. We don't keep the Yogg in the box. We want to hit it off of the manufacturing error, but I also want, like, to find the keyboard. That said, in see Affinitize and keep Infinitize. Oh, also find a keyboard. Now we just need something to pair with it, like a spot the difference would go kind of nice. That also, I suppose, counts. we got to find something off of this as well. So I saw this spell damage druid deck in the theory crafting a few times, but I never quite got to see it pop off, so I'm not actually sure what it's even capable of. But hopefully not a lot. A wild miscalculation. Let's go here. Wouldn't mind another one of those, even if it doesn't offer me a lot right now. It can by the time we get to six mana, hopefully. Mm. You cast a spell while holding this. Discover a card from your deck. Oh, pretty good. Did just set a counter spell or some sort of secret here. Let's hold for a moment and pretend like we're thinking, and then just grab the counter spell. Maybe hover this for a moment. Send it back and go, no, just kidding. We want the counterspell. Uh, I don't want to telegraph completely that it's counterspell, though. They played around it anyway. These keyboards aren't really the thing I'm looking for right now. We officially have three spells queued up. I can set a keyboard to 
uh, play alongside something from here. I don't think I've played a Frost Spell yet, have I? Yeah. So I could Soul Freeze, Cosmic Keyboard, Infinitize. Then that will give me five minions off of the Elemental Inspiration because of the fact that we get an extra 5-5 five, five from the Cosmic Keyboard. But I don't want a 1-1 one, one minion, so I lead with the Soul Freeze. And if I need to, I could also use this to find a Frost Bolt. Hello. Another manufacturing error, especially when at a reduced cost, seems kind of kind of solid here. This is just good for challenging the tutu. Probably would do want to find some healing here. I feel like I could justify going face here after <laughs> building this board. Just threatening a wee bit of lethal. And we've still got the Jaina's gift for a fireball, even if they clean up a little bit here. I think at the very least they need to take the Wind Fury off the board. Otherwise they're going to have a bad time. short on lethal. Fortunate. Fortunate. Boom! Thanks for the translation. Hidden objects is just something okay to do on turn two, maybe even turn three, which I have limited options for turn three, so I'll take it. No one's going to yeah. believe this. I think it would be a crime to be playing anything other than aggro as uh, King Crush, right? Shooting Star is good for the Awakened Tremors. Or for that. I think I want to use the Shooting Star just yet. I think we can go here. No, here. Look for an explosive. Because this is scary long term, but less so now and as long as we can survive long enough to get to the star power I think it's not too much of a threat probably use this next turn we're actually making good progress on the wisdom of Organon yeah, let's start here gonna regret this. No, I can't even afford it. Just take a blizzard. That's the one I don't have. Spot the difference is good if I don't need to uh, star power next turn, which with an explosive runes already in place, there's a decent chance of that. Glad I picked the blizzard, but it doesn't help me too much right now. Just 
just reduce some of the board tension right now. And this prevents them from like having too many buff effects. Still good, it just leaves one uh, deep little I like I don't feel good about killing these dogs. I don't know why this opponent is making me do this. But it's their fault, not mine. Clearly. Wait, it's a pretty sweet animation. Hold. No, nobody wants to know. There's the tremors. We lead with this. Order, it turns out. Alright, we've got the Yogg in a box. Can't we get another good Yogg here? Please. I need it. Like, these are kind of weak if I do get a uh, Sunset Volley. Uh oh, am I dead? lead with this. This is not helpful. But at least we found that out. And I think we take trades just to play it safe. And also make board space in case we get the Scourge. Okay. Good order. Oop. I mean, it could have gone worse, right? It definitely could have gone worse. The problem is a beast plus second skill command and hero power kills me, so... There is a decent possibility I die. Because we know they have Leoc in hand still from the Animal Companions. Balls. Oh, it's... Oh, God. Oh! Okay, I don't know what's going to happen here, but we finally get to play this, so we play it, right? Oh, my God, what an animation. Nice targeting. No, probably not the secret I wanted there. Or the order that I wanted there.
And it feels like we might die here soon. Oops. Yeah, I want counterspell and I want... Okay, it's counterspell. So the counter spell helps deny the uh, kill command, potentially. We know they have a lot of beasts in hand. Okay, probably just dead here. No, because we know this isn't kill command because they would have killed me last turn if they had that. We win? Yogg does it again? <laughs> oh man, Twitch Shatter's seeding and molding over not getting to see this phenomenal Yogg action. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Doesn't get much better than that.